What's up everybody, welcome back to 2023. I'm calling this the start of the new season, even though I've been doing this for like three years or something. I'm calling this season two of my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be building this back up to the community that we had before uh, I moved house and I didn't have anywhere to film videos. Now I have this space, I'm really inspired to make new content and there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff coming out really, really soon. Let's do a little bit of a walk around. It's still a little bit of a mess. Um, I obviously haven't finished everything yet. Uh, there's still a little bit of painting to go, little things to add here and there. But as you walk in, the first thing on the left here is this electronic desk. So this is a electronically adjustable height desk. Uh, that didn't really make much sense, but uh, this is the main angle that you're gonna be seeing in the videos. So I have my A7 IV here with the 24 mm G Master is the lens I'm using at the moment. That might change but uh, that's what the background looks like. I then have the Rode NTG video mic on the Rode boom arm there. And on the wall here, I also have another mount, uh, which currently is just sitting with the A6600 uh, for some top-down shots, which is gonna be great for this desk because like I said, it's height adjustable, so I can bring it up to the level I need and then film with the top-down view. Um, and then I have this big aperture uh, soft box here. It's like a 90 centimeter one, I think, with a CL100 cold bore light. Uh, I think that's how you say it. I'll put a link to all this stuff in the description below. You'll see around the walls, I do have these kind of sound blankets um, just for a little bit of noise cancelling, I guess. I also have this uh, panel up the top here. Um, I have my little humidity cabinet down there with some extra gear in it and then just some little cheap lights. I was looking at the ones that most people are using. They're like really expensive. These were like, I think $30 from the warehouse. So I've really tried to save money where I can. These are just for some lighting and uh, you know, obviously I wanted the space to be a bit of a darker hangout, but you know, you want some lights and they look cool in the background. I've got just a couch there I can chill out on and my friends can come around and uh, film some podcasts, which we will be doing. And then here I have my desk set up. This is probably what you guys are most looking forward to. Uh, this light can swivel around, so if we do that, then we get a little bit more light on the desk area there. These are just the Alex uh, side drawers, but uh, you guys know those, everybody's using them. Um, I have this top that I just bought yesterday, actually the desktop, uh, it's just a hardwood thing I got from the hardware store and it looks heaps better in my opinion. Uh, the computer I'm using, I just picked up actually uh, like last month. It's the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Max CPU and 32 gig of RAM with a one terabyte hard drive. The M2 Max isn't out here yet. I think it's just come out maybe this week, but uh, yeah, it was too late and I'm not too fast. This one's a beast. The monitor I'm using is a Dell 38 inch ultra wide 4K monitor. And I have this A-Logic Thunderbolt 4 hub here that everything's going through. That's been really awesome. I also have the new Logitech um, mechanical keyboard and I'm really happy with that actually. It's amazing and I'm still running the Logitech Master MX3 mouse, not the 3S. Speakers, I have these um, Mackie, I think they're 535, five inch studio monitors running through a Scarlett 212. And then I have these DT770 Pro headphones for when I'm editing video. Got my Washburn guitar there if I wanna just chill out. That's a uh, electric acoustic and I can plug it into that studio monitor as well. And then this is probably the messiest corner so far. So this is just a shelf I bought yesterday. Um, and this is just gonna store most of my gear. So I've got some tripods down there, uh, my dual harness, uh, my main camera bags. This one's new. Uh, so look out for a review on that coming up soon. My old one. And then this is gonna be a charging station. So I have this, uh, this uh, power brick here, and then I'm gonna be able to charge all of my stuff uh, when I come back from a job or anything like that. And then just some extra storage. I've got a few new bags actually, new Peak Design everyday bag that I'll be going over. Um, in this corner, I've just had this Godox SL60W light, uh, which is usually pointed kind of at me for like a rim light. And then here, this is also a bit of a mess, but uh, this is just a cabinet that I built myself actually a while ago. I was quite proud of this. Um, some Got some nice miter joints in there and um, yeah, a whole bunch of rubbish in here at the moment, but I've got some of my film cameras there. Uh, but yeah, this is, needs to be reorganized. So I'll go through all that soon. I've got my main motorbike helmet there if you guys ride. 
you know what that helmet is. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, my new space. I'm really stoked to be able to start making content again, and I really look forward to seeing you all. So, yeah. The next video coming out is gonna be my 2023 what's in my bag loadout for my full-time wedding photography slash videography kit. So we're gonna go over all my cameras, lenses, lighting, audio equipment, drones, gimbals, everything I use in this new season because it's changed a bit since I've last shown you guys everything I'm using. We've got some new stuff coming and a whole bunch of reviews, behind the scenes stuff, interviews. I'm really pumped about making content again and I wanna build this community back up to what it was. I miss all you guys and I'm really excited to be back. I'll see you guys in the next video real soon.